So I read this. Since 2018, homeowners in the Lone Star State have seen a 50.9% increase in their homeowners insurance rates oh. um, on average. That increase is the highest in the country. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're they're predicting it to be higher. Oh, it's it's going to be astronomical. It's not fifty percent. Mine has increased one hundred. Oh, okay, yeah. percent. One hundred percent. For it says in, that was nationally. Yeah. Oh wait, no, no, no. It says twenty eighteen. Insurance rates in Texas have always been high, but twenty twenty three took the state to a new level as the average annual cost of home insurance in Texas was one hundred. Okay, one hundred thirteen percent more than the average nationwide. Yeah. So what Diana and just I said, shopped yeah. around. I had um, Jacob, who is our Liberty Mutual guy. Mm-hmm. I had him shop around different companies. There was no savings. Yeah. That was the price. But when yeah. when this is why it's so important to get homeowners insurance quotes when you're looking to buy a home, and that could be doing it during your due diligence period, but then also when you're looking to qualify. Um, because the difference it can make in a payment can yeah. be really. We actually had. Not so long ago, um, when finding homes, when we started getting quotes for homeowners insurance, it priced the buyers out of the home. Yeah. Because of the difference, they couldn't qualify after that. And that's, that's something that you need to be mindful. And honestly, you know, the dirty, the dirty word right now in our industry is, of course, the lawsuit. But it does bring up the difference between working with top producing agents who know what they're talking about that are that have insurance people in our network that we are going to ensure that we are doing that due diligence on the back end. There is someone I don't I don't think it was one of you guys. I think it was another agent on our team. But they were saying that their buyer was buying a home here but still keeping their home, I think, in California. But they couldn't get insurance on that. And they didn't know what to do. And they were telling her. And she put them in touch with Jacob here in Texas. And he got he got them insurance. Jacob is, yeah. he is really good and yeah, really resourceful. He does resourceful. all of our, our life he, insurance. So yeah. he, knows, <laughs> he knows our secrets. He's, oh, he's seen our blood work. Oh, he's, it's, he, it's so funny. First, We're talking about all the vendors today. I love it. Well, we, uh, listen, this is how much we love, like, you become like family, especially when you're, I, yeah. you know, when it was just Genevieve and I, and, you know, I was marketing coordinator, I was transaction coordinator, I was realtor, I was assist, I, I mean, you name therapist. it. I wore the ha- therapist, Bar- crazy person, yeah, mixologist, yes, yeah, so all the things. I do need a personal mixologist on staff. So. I am that for you when you come to my house. <laughs> yes, you are. I do make you really good martinis. <laughs> but I, um, it, 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 you, you, when you're when you're in the trenches with them, and you get the job done, you take those people and you hold on to them real tight. Like Clark can try to run away, but we'll find him. <laughs> like we will find him. I will. I will track him down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. We have some good, good. Good people that we work with. You know, something that we that we did bring up with the life insurance, it, it, you know, we always talk about real estate and stuff, but just life in general, um, unfortunately, we do run into a lot of different situations um, involving, you know, why do people move, right? It's like the Ds and it's death, it's divorce, mm. it's all those different things. And it's, you know, when we were talking about Jacob, I am, I personally just hired a financial planner who hates me Um, (laughs) and like (laughs) estate planning and all of this stuff. Like it's, it's wild, but you hit 40 and then you're kind of like, wait, Oh, I'm, it's like, oh shit, don't, I I know it's like scary. (laughs) That's how I felt. Oh, for sure. This is, that's half of it. But did you feel like just honest talk? I haven't reached my peak yet. Oh girl, I have not either. Have you met our moms? I'm going to keep going. Just keep going. Genevieve, our moms are living their lives. (laughs) Like their best damn lives. Like your mom, well, yeah. My mom's mom into birds. She's just bird watching. My mom Your is, mom's traveling. A, all she does is my travel. My mom won't stop working. My, my mom, mom just works. my mom still works too. She's all still an active work. flight Look attendant. At that. I wonder where we get our work from. I certainly <laughs> don't get it from my dad. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> I hope he's watching this. But uh <laughs> He probably is. Probably. <laughs> if, I, if we know him. <laughs>